This video will cover installing MAMP on the Mac OS X. MAMP is one of the easiest ways to get started with Apache, MySQL, and PHP on the Mac OS X. You can download the software by going to MAMP.info on the web. The download actually includes two packages. There's MAMP and there's MAMP Pro. MAMP is the free version and that's the one that we'll focus on in this course. You go to the Downloads tab and then click the download link, you will then retrieve a zip archive file. Once retrieved, this turns into a MAMP.PKG file. Double click on this to start the installation. You then need to follow the prompts, and that will include agreeing to the license agreement. You click install, and make sure you enter your administrator password when you're prompted. You click on install software, the installation will just take a few minutes. The files will be copied to your application folder. You then click Close, go to your Applications folder, and locate MAMP. You'll notice that you will see both MAMP and the MAMP Pro folder. We will not be needing MAMP Pro for this course, and it can be deleted. Before we get started, however, we have to make sure that there are no existing versions of Apache or MySQL already installed on the Mac that are running. To do this, you go to System Preferences, from there go to Sharing. Make sure that Web Sharing is turned off. That will ensure that the version of Apache included with the Mac OS X is turned off and won't conflict with MAMP's version. If you installed Apple's MySQL, you should also make sure that that is turned off as well. Now we're ready to start up MAMP. Go to the MAMP application folder, you'll see an application called MAMP. You'll notice that the htdocs folder is the document root. This is where you will be placing your project files for the course. We will go back to the MAMP application, double click it to start it up. When you first start MAMP, the server should start automatically. You'll notice, however, on this page, the default port is 8889. That is non standard. Later on, we'll show you how to change that. In addition, on the web address bar, you'll also see that there's a non-standard port. MAMP is installed this way by default to avoid conflict with existing versions of Apache, which may already be installed on the Mac OS X. If you prefer, you might want to use the standard ports for Apache and MySQL. Let's verify that MySQL is running. We click on PHP MyAdmin. You should see a page indicating that the MySQL database is running. We have now verified that MAMP is successfully installed and that Apache and MySQL are both running. You will recall from the installation of the Mac that Apache and MySQL were installed on non-standard ports. You can view this information by opening the start page. On the URL of the browser, you can see Apache is running at 8888. MySQL is indicated down below and you can see that the port is 8889, both of which are non-standard ports. This can cause problems with certain applications. It's best to set these to the default ports. In order to do that, we need to return to the MAMP application. From the MAMP application, we can click on Preferences. We then click on Ports. You can see the non-standard ports in the window. We click on Set to Default Apache and MySQL Ports. You can now see that it is set to 80 and 3306. We click OK and the two servers will restart. You also need to enter your administrative password. Once we get the green light, this indicates that both servers have successfully restarted. You can then go back to the start page to view the difference. You can see in the URL, localhost there is no port indicated, which means it is the default, port 80. MySQL is now back to 3306, which is the default port. It's possible, however, that you may have a conflict or that the configuration does not take properly. In that case, go back to Preferences, set back to the original settings, click OK, allow the servers to restart. You can then go back to Preferences one more time, Click on Set Default Apache and MySQL Ports, let the servers restart, and now everything should be working properly. 
This concludes our discussion of installing and configuring MAMP on the Mac OS X.